Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for December 12th, 2019. So as Christmas draws near, we have quite an environment <laughs> to deal with as we head into the weekend. So let's talk about what happened yesterday first. The FOMC came out and gave uh, very glowing comments really on the economy, said that they were going to continue to monitor situations and would be ready to make adjustments as necessary, but felt like the economy was moving along just as their mandate expects and they were happy to hold interest rates uh, firm. We had a, a real back and forth battle here yesterday on the diamonds where we were pushing down, but the bulls just kept fighting and fighting and fighting, and they did a really good job holding up uh, by the end of the day. We obviously still have this concern here of this head and shoulders type pattern that we still need to, well, uh, I mean, who knows where this goes from here. We have a very good bullish looking chart. The bulls have held on. We're not in imminent danger of falling here, but we do know we have these big pending issues hanging over the head of the market. Right now, this morning, the bulls are trying to put on a brave face. They're trying to push the market just a little bit higher with modest gains this morning. Um, trying to be pushed out. We'll have to wait and see if that can hold as we get through morning earnings and um, economic reports and as we deal with these uncertainties in the market. So what are the uncertainties that we're dealing with? Well, first off, we don't know what's going to happen with trade and tariffs. Sometime today, the president will be meeting with trade advisors. It's possible we could hear something later today on um, whether or not they're going to pull the December tariffs, if they're going to stick with them. Um, it would be nice to hear something prior to the weekend, but it's entirely possible we could move into the weekend and still no presidential decision as what to do on those tariffs. So consider carefully the risk that you hold in uh, the market as we wait. Also, keep in mind that um, across the pond, we have um, UK voting on, um, well, uh, Boris Johnson, the prime minister, um, has been unable to achieve um, his majority that he's needed to pass his negotiated Brexit deal. And so what he has done is it called another election and the attempt is to gain a majority in parliament. So they are voting today whether or not they can do that. Um, should Boris Johnson um, gain control of parliament in his party and be able to form a government, then there will likely be a relatively quick vote on Brexit. That can have a market implication. So watch the market. Um, the market will be monitoring closely this the election results as uh, the UK goes to the polls today to decide whether or not they want to do that. Now, if he should lose um, that vote, unable to form a majority of government, the other side has promised that they will move to a uh, another national referendum asking the people whether or not they want Brexit or not, um, <laughs> which means this could linger on for some time to come. So um, big decisions being made over there in the UK today. Um, Let's um, also consider that sometime today, later on today, the impeachment committee is expected to vote on the impeachment of President Trump, charging him with high crimes and misdemeanors. Um, that will then move to the full house for a vote. Um, and I'm guessing probably later ne or sometime next week. So keep in mind, we the drama of this political process continues to unfold, um, causing all kinds of uncertainty in the market. So 
with that in mind, let's take a look at the SPY, 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 also holding on very well. And as a matter of fact, one of the stronger indexes, um, because we're closely um, trying to approach this breakout high, it wouldn't take much of a news event for us to see new record highs in the SPY. And our trend continues to hold up here quite well. Once again, the market is just kind of waiting, waiting for that next shoe to fall. What's what's it going to be? Are we going to be, uh, is it going to be bullish news or, or bearish news? And right now, no one seems to know um, or have a good clue as to which way this market it will swing. One of the things I would suggest is all traders are going to have to be very, very focused on price action and very, very careful. We don't want to be over trading this market because the reversals that could occur uh, based on news reports could be swift and extreme. So kind of keep that in mind. And as we move toward the weekend, you might want to consider carefully how much risk you have out there um, with these pending news events that could really have a market moving effect. Let's take a look at the Qs. QQQ um, was very strong yesterday, had probably the biggest um, move yesterday, really kind of holding everything up and lifting everything uh, to the top side. Now today there's some big uh, tech um, earnings after the bell that could certainly move things around. Right now, again, we have trend. Everything is holding up in trend. And we have a um, just a slight, a very, very slight bullish move this morning in the futures, at least at this point, um, trying to uh, push on higher. Keep in mind, it really wouldn't take that big of an effort to break out to brand new record highs here in the queues, depending on what these news events occur. It's been relatively amazing to me that the bulls have been so willing to hold this market up with such pending um, news out there. Um, and the bears have just had absolutely no power here at all to push the market lower. So pretty darn interesting situation as we approach this weekend waiting for these details to come out. Now IWM was the only index yesterday that failed to make um, a positive close, but there was nothing wrong with this chart here either. Holding up in this trend, everything is looking pretty good, just consolidating this move and really holding on to some support right in here. So this is waiting for that news as well to see whether or not it's going to push on higher. Um, so let's watch that pretty closely. Let's take a look at the VIX. The, v, the VIX was about as confused as the rest of the market was yesterday and just kind of parked around this um, resistance area. Finally, at the right at the end of the day, we had a little bit of a bullish move in the market that pushed the VIX lower. But we're kind of hanging out around this level, and I expect we will likely hang around that level yet today, hoping to find some um, clarity in these events to see whether or not. Um, you know, fear is going to perk up or, for, or if we're going to continue to rally, pushing that fear lower. Let's watch that closely. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, let's watch that closely. And um, this is going to be really important. A break above here could really spell some trouble for the market. So let's hope that holds down. Um, and I think a break above there that holds above here as support could really indicate some major trouble. Um, but if the news events happen to be positive, we could be dropping that fear right back down into these low ranges and with nothing to worry about. And right now, the bulls have been maintaining major control, even though um, uh, option markets show a tremendous amount of hedging going on in the market. Um, they're displaying their fear pretty heavily in uh, the futures market with a lot of put buying and things like that to hedge against these potential moves. Let's take a look at T2122, that four week new high, new low ratio. Now yesterday it moved up just ever so slightly and really it pushed up right there at the end of the day. The last few minutes of the day, we actually saw the Dow make it into the positive. Um, and as you can see, um, we're still in a very good situation here um, in, in the chart. 
So T2122 doesn't give us a directional um, indication, but what it does tell us is whether we have upside potential or downside potential. And as you, as you can see here, we have plenty of room to move to the upside. Should we get some kind of positive note, positive um, news on tariffs, Brexit, any of those kind of things, it could certainly move the market higher. And we have room to do that without being in an overbought condition. And then, of course, we have a big open window to the downside, too, should um, we end up getting some bearish news um, on these uh, major decisions that we're waiting for in the market. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar does have a few things on the list that we will have to pay attention to as we take a look here. Um, we have jobless claims here this morning. Uh, no one's expecting jobless claims to be come in bad or poor or anything like that. In fact, they could be very, very bullish. So let's keep an eye on jobless claims. And then the pr producer prices, we'll want to keep an eye on that at 8.30. Those are the market-moving events this morning to keep an eye on. We do have a natural gas report. We have a Fed balance sheet later on today. But I wouldn't expect anything else to be majorly market-moving. Um, overall. Now this morning we have a relatively light economic calendar. Um, you know, company, uh, let's see, CIEN. CIEN is reporting this morning. Don't expect this to be much of a market mover um, at all. But then later on this afternoon we have Adobe. Adobe will rep be, rep whoops, got a type right. Um, Adobe will be reporting this afternoon, something to keep an eye on. We also get news from AVGO, it's a major supplier of um, Apple. And you can see it had a nice move up in anticipation of that earnings report coming out today. So keep an eye on AVGO and Costco is another important um, uh, retail number that will be coming out uh, this afternoon, as well as Oracle. So we have some big, uh, big companies reporting this afternoon. That could be market moving after the close, so kind of keep an eye on those stocks. So with that, hey, um, I want to wish everyone a great day in your trading. I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you have seen these videos, if you could do me a favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and then click that bell icon to make sure you're notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you feel like the video is worthy, if you feel like there's something in here that has, is helpful to you, please make sure and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment helps us to continue to grow the channel and hopefully you see that we're a little bit different here um, in in what I do on the right way options channel in no hype no prediction whatsoever we're looking at the technicals of the chart the price action of the chart and hopefully you find that to be helpful and I want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time to leave those comments you guys are awesome um, truly truly appreciate it um, honestly, you guys humble me every day with your kind words. So thank you very, very much. So with that, how about we take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up, a few things to be making note of, maybe to put on your list. Keep in mind that every stock I show is not a recommendation to buy or sell anything. It is merely uh, part of the education and things that I do looking at these charts. And if you find something in here to put on your list, uh, your watch list, make sure you evaluate that carefully as to whether or not that fits your investment objective um, at all. But just just a, a one more time, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell anything. Let's take a look at a couple stocks I placed alerts on yesterday. HTZ. Kind of keeping an eye here on HTZ. Um, moved up pretty sharply here. Now, this is still technically showing the possibility of downtrend. So we could certainly fail here. But what I liked about this chart was this W type pattern here and we broke above the center point of that W and we're holding it as support. 
So I placed an alert here watching this chart to see if, if this consolidation is going to be productive and that potential for this to pop out. So watch HTZ might be something for your list to kind of keep an eye on. One of the members um, of Right Way Options brought up uh, Planet Fitness and I like this chart and decided to place an alert on the chart. Uh, Planet Fit Fitness hammering here yesterday and uh, trying to push on through and show signs of life. One of the things that can be kind of a, um, a seasonal um, area to look for stocks is in the fitness area. Everyone this time of year starts thinking about the new year, starts thinking about their new year's resolutions, um, wanting to lose weight, getting in, getting into better shape, those kind of things. And we can see Planet Fitness has benefited nicely in this rally and could continue on rallying. Keep in mind that we still have some resistance up here that we have to deal with in the chart, but that's quite a, quite a bit higher. Um, and there's certainly money that could be made here on Planet Fitness, so keep an eye on that. Take a look at Procter & Gamble. One of the things that was really noticeable yesterday is a significant number of um, consumer defensive stocks were uh, seeing some bullishness, and we've seen this starting to happen this week. Procter & Gamble moving up here, testing this resistance high, consolidating right in here, and tried to push through yesterday. If that happens to consolidate even a little bit more, here's our current trend. We could have several more days of consolidation in here and holding that trend, but watch for that opportunity for Procter & Gamble to pop out. Folks may be reaching for a little bit of security Security in some of these defensive sector stocks, and that might be a place to look. Yesterday I mentioned that I was kind of keeping an eye on NEE as a potential. Um, NEE is a utility, a, a dividend payer, and one of those places where folks may look for a little bit of security in stocks. And as you can see, yesterday had a nice bullish move, breaking through this little consolidation, breaking through there, showing some uh, nice positiveness. Now, of course, we still have resistance up here in the chart to deal with, so no great shakes here on expecting this to just blow the top off of this and really run to the upside. But when we start seeing utilities getting bullishness, um, that gives me a little concern for the market because this this is normally a protective type place to look and so keep a, keep an eye on NEE if you're interested in a little bit of protection there might be something in here uh, for you to um, to pick up some um, nice security. Let's take a look at uh, Amgen. Amgen has been holding up really, really well. And you can see I have an alert right here. I really need to just extend that line. But as you can see, I've got an alert in this chart watching uh, this potential trade. This continues to consolidate. Now, I'll tell you honestly, I rarely do uh, much trading in any biotechs. I mean, extremely rarely because biotechs can be so... Uh, um, uh, so volatile in their moves that they can uh, I, something I say all the time in the room is they can just about rip your face off all of a sudden if uh, some news report comes out of a trial or something like that but if I draw a trend up here as you can see we're continuing this nice little consolidating move and it's a very very tight consolidation no one appears to want to sell this uh, stock so we want to watch this as we approach this trend as that opportunity for Amgen to move on on higher. Another stock that's doing largely the same thing is UNH. Healthcare has been relatively strong and you can see UNH holding up in here. There's not a willingness to really sell this stock off and we can clearly see if we look at these tails right where the buyers were are stepping in. So take a look right here, um, a little bit of a hammer, a little bit of a follow through yesterday, trying to move on up and test that resistance in here. And we have a nice little trend forming in this chart. So depending on where you wanna draw that, 
but we could be coming to that point where this may get that inspiration to finally move on higher. One of the charts I've been keeping an eye on is Coca-Cola. And as a matter of fact, it took a position in Coca-Cola, um, just for full disclosure, took a position in Coca-Cola yesterday. This pullback into this support area, buyers finally stepped up. We had a little worry um, early on yesterday, but buyers finally picked it back up here um, toward the end of the day and um, holding this nice little trend. So I'm keeping an eye on Coke breaking through here. Again, it's one of those defensive sector stocks, one of those places that you might look for a little security. And as you can see this morning, we're maybe slipping just a tiny little bit higher on Coke. Um, take a look at the financial sector. Um, BAC, um, and full disclosure, I am already owner of BAC and BAC holding up very, very well. And the reason I went with BAC is it had already broken through this resistance right here and trying to show some bullishness to the upside. Keep an eye, financials have been holding up very, very well. Um, BAC may soon follow through if we get some bullishness in the market. So with that, everyone, hey, I wanna wish you all a great day. Keep a close eye to the to price action in the news. I gotta tell you, anything is possible in this market. We could just really uh, rip higher or rip lower very, very quickly on a news report. So watch that pretty carefully. Um, a lot of nervousness in the market right now. We're certainly seeing that in all the hedging activity and things that's, that are going on in the um, options. So keep a close eye on that and consider carefully the risk that you hold as we head into the weekend. We don't want to be overly long or overly short as we head into the weekend. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to be probably going closer to cash as we head into the weekend if we still don't have any information on what's what the tariff situation is going to be. Um, so with that, I want to wish you all a great day. Have an awesome, awesome profit. I wish you awesome, awesome profits. Everyone take care and we'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Have a good one, everyone.